Welcome to this Solid Edge podcast, bringing you all the quick and easy tips and tricks from the experts. When I talk with new users, many say the hardest part of grasping any 3D modeler is placing parts in an assembly. It's really not that hard, and in this week's show, I'll be exploring how to place components and some useful tips and tricks that streamline your workflow. Here's how. Firstly, I like to have a minimum of parts on display to reduce unnecessary clutter and ensure parts go in the correct place. Solid Edge's display configurations come in handy when working on large assemblies. And don't be afraid to zoom in so that you can see what you're doing. One of the most common ways to place parts is from the parts library, a sidebar near the pathfinder, but you can also copy and paste or drag and drop parts into your assembly. When selecting a part in the parts library, you get a small preview to see if it's the correct one. If you right click on the background, you'll see some useful options such as how to view the parts, what file types to display, create new folders, maintain relationships, use simplified versions and more. I'll take a closer look at the preview option. Here you can choose to have an interactive preview or static bitmap. Interactive previews offer some benefits, so let's turn this option on. You'll see the part can now be rotated to get a better look, and when placed in the assembly, it will be in the orientation it's left in. I'll rotate the bearing mount so the mating face is exposed, making it easier to select. And now all that's required are three relationships to fully position the part, and lock down any rotation. With the mating face selected, simply choose the mating face on an adjacent part to place the first relationship. There are some additional options to reduce steps that save mouse clicks. These are found on the Smart Step ribbon bar. With these selected, all I have to do is choose the mate or aligned faces between each part. It saves selecting the parts individually each time. I'll use the holes in the mount and the holes in the bracket to complete placement. Once fully positioned, parts being placed change from transparent to opaque. Experiment with different relationships depending on what your parts are and how you want them to behave. I hope you found this tip useful when building your assemblies. To learn more, go to siemens.com forward slash solid edge or call your local solid edge channel partner.